So my work uh, focuses on brain imaging where we try to link uh, scans or pictures of the brain to various health outcomes and I have a, a, a personal interest in Parkinson's disease because it's a devastating illness that affects many people. We all know of famous cases of Parkinson's uh, disease patients such as Michael J. Fox or Muhammad Ali. Uh, but for many of us, we have a closer connection. I've had a, a family member affected with Parkinson's disease as well. So for me, my interest is to, to try to use my expertise as a statistician, as an imaging scientist, to try to see if we can make progress. So my research is to, going to try to relate imaging data to classifying or diagnosing Parkinson's disease, but the, the novel aspect of it is that we're going to really try to determine markers that identify early disease patients. So the imaging data can capture lots of rich information on brain structure, brain function, uh, it, which can be characterized in different ways, and those things may uh, yield information that will help us identify Parkinson's disease patients prior to the onset of motor symptoms. And if we're able to do so, then that provides like an optimal window to try to begin developing or administering neuroprotective treatments before the onset of the, of the Parkinson's symptoms. So my work is, is fairly unique within the Parkinson's disease biomarker program because I'm trained as a statistician and there's a, a, a methodological emphasis on my work where we're developing mathematical models, statistical models to analyze really complex data sets. And so success of my project would not only help for our work in trying to determine many of these biomarkers, but then hopefully many of the other uh, investigators in the research community would be able to develop the tools that, that, that we create and apply it to their research as well. And so those will be, again, mathematical and statistical models as, a, as, as well as computational tools where they'll be able to, to use our approaches and analyze their own data. So our project, again, is aimed at trying to identify early disease cohort. So if we're able to identify patients prior to the onset of, of motor symptoms who are likely to develop Parkinson's disease, then, then that creates a, a cohort of individuals that we can enroll in future studies to try to develop or look at the effectiveness, the efficacy of neuroprotective treatments for Parkinson's disease. And if successful, then you know they, we can really uh, forestall the, the onset of the motor symptoms so that individuals can continue to live longer and healthier lives before they're affected with some of the damaging motor symptoms. So in our study, we're actually using existing data, so we're not enrolling subjects uh, directly into our study. However, there, there are a number of initiatives where, in, including many of the uh, projects funded under the Parkinson's Disease Biomarker Program. So I would just encourage people to, you know, to, to enroll if, uh, to, to seek information. Uh, of course, enrolling in research studies is not for everyone, but if it seems fitting and, and the individuals may be able to make a contribution to research, I encourage them to, to look into it.